Yes, I myself, Dr. T. Surendra, faculty of TM College of Teacher Education, being the faculty of MR courses and also the teachers of the Education and Philosophy, paper number three, MR second semesters. At the end of the unit one and unit two, and Unit 3, I organized one seminar on different topics uh, in, in, in the uh, five topic areas. And I divided uh, the trainees uh, ten in each groups on different topics. Uh, the main purpose of organizing this seminar is nothing but to make them competent to develop the uh, learning material or the presentation papers on different topics based on the MED uh, second semesters under Manipur University, the central universities. And because of this seminar may help them to improve the teaching competencies. And uh, not only that, it may help them to digest the learning material on a single day of unit number one, unit number two, and unit number three. As I assign five topics chosen from the unit one, unit two, and unit three. And this is a remarkable, uh, wonderful seminar, and through which I realized that they improve much and. Uh, which will help them to materialize the objective of the MED courses being provided at Jam College of Teacher Education, the one, only one government college in Manipur. And uh, if they digest fully, the syllabus of the MED courses may help them to clear the national eligibility tests conducted by UGCs. And they are the future teacher educators of Viet and Emmet. And by digesting the complete digestion of these learning, uh, the syllabus may have their bright future as a teacher educator of Viet course and Emmet courses. And I hope that I achieve the objective of the, the subject as well as the objective of the Emmet courses. We materialize the vision and mission of the police also. Thank you. Let us see the. That is nature and science. Uh, knowledge higher than the equina, like some road that our information law. That cannot be says knowledge. So that our information or direct it. There may be some, uh, some many holes that the upo ko mayam boat mayam ne rumaya eva. However, knowledge or the data that information or that piece of data will become justified and truth, accepted by many, accepted by all, and the reminder of the knowledge or the data is like data may have enough information may have enough to learn about other than to me and the proof of data that knowledge or data like I know that I'm trying to be here in the middle of October like some knowledge of my data other than information and data I wonder I know that I don't know what is happening there like I don't know how to come there I get sense to not reset the work in the middle of the book and I think I don't know how to not in a coming up other other chat of the game of my time that some accident I'm a to come in or I know what mom give a gift in a room ever I do it but that I got it I get to know that something is happening there that there is an accident or something is being searched there I took him up to that and I say I know I want the information or a member press or a member information to knowledge or for a member to my not truth or ever go to go a coin up knowledge so when it so knowledge construction they kind of a minor for the high time that first knowledge can be constructed Knowledge, the process of knowledge construction is activation of existing knowledge after the lady but knowledge to hand activate so well then communication between stakeholders I already mean what that's here to talk about the knowledge to a quick communication though but I already knowledge to to me that you have to do come on over here and then last up the application of that knowledge to our real life see you can see through this tree we can construct knowledge I don't give a tongue that we never have knowledge knowledge to come in at the window I'm going to go over to see how to do I'm a communist. I'm a free of mind learning.
Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to speak about nature of knowledge. Nature of knowledge is that to understand what's the nature of knowledge, we need to put up three questions. That is, what does knowledge of knowledge, and then what are the different forms or types of knowledge? See, a home question, a home If we try to answer it, if we try to get answer out of this question, we'll be able to get understand what is the nature of knowledge. So. I was speaking on the, uh, this one, the first two questions, I'll try to uh, you know, put it, the idea behind it. So, the first is what does knowledge consist of? For example, if we teach a student, we teach a student about atmosphere of different gases. Atmosphere of different gases, Manipur, which part of India, not this part of India, like, example, I'm giving some example. Okay. And then what is society? Society is a group of people living in a de some demographic portion or what are the principles of democracy? For example, uh, example, I'm a teller, I'm a teller, I'm a teller, I'm a teller, Knowledge on the basis of that knowledge, he will build new knowledge. So what this is what I'm trying to say. Knowledge is cumulative in nature. So again, the third point is no no knowledge is final. No knowledge is final. Knowledge understanding when I see knowledge will be for example, uh is a flat hand there is a room for development. The next characteristic is knowledge develops perspective. This is very interesting to me because knowledge has a positive perspective. Uh, like, I'll, uh, I'll like to pick uh, up an example of Dalit. Dalit it's very close to my heart. Everyone knows about Dalit, right? Uh, like, see, the perspective of my mind of your samasti, why is one another like in a social process? Types of knowledge. Types of knowledge are the primary knowledge, posteriori knowledge, experience knowledge, that should be propositional and non propositional knowledge. <laughs> and I'm going to deal with this primary knowledge. Primary knowledge, high target, the knowledge that we have in our mind. That is free from all the experiences and experiment. I think I mind that lapa. I think I have a mind that 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 I some religions they could follow our ever. Imunga to our main high dana. Ado ekoi charuwa na kumbo ki badu na adu na muka posteriori knowledge kala pini ba. Ekoi si pay thakhi ekoi pani pani na kumbo ki bani ba. Adu na ta bida ekoi na pi inga dekhi ekoi religion do ekoi follow to orala ekoi khangi ra khangi ra khanda bida. By our beliefs ekoi thada bigi matu ina si zibo ekoi na private knowledge koi bani ba. Ekoi da ba na kopta la high dana ba. Si private knowledge ekoi na it sings it. Ekoi ramga dana to ramga dana si bo chunga dana. In a college, the good land, the drug, Sukumba, the good one, priory knowledge, the lack of neighbor. So, the word priory is derived from the Latin word, which means from the former. Logic, logical base, and the key reasoning base in Haiti than a walk. Aduka justified the Hatarabati, a posteriori knowledge, and the lack of neighbor. So, a posteriori knowledge is a knowledge gained from sense experience. Sense experience, high target, five senses, touch, feel, see, 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 Experience 
Some philosophers claim that posteriori knowledge is opposite to priori knowledge. Philosophers like uh, Quigge, uh, these two terms, priori knowledge and posteriori knowledge, were like uh, Quigge given main uh, quick importance, uh, Quigge Ahadba, Quigge word, Quigge Yamna, Quigge importance, Quigge Baduga, words of Yam popularized, so he was there. Immanuel Kant, the name, Amanu Sahabet Pandrepa. Immanuel Kant, in his influential book, Critic of Pure Reason, the mother distinction between both of them, but some philosophers uh, they say that both goes parallel, parallel or naturally. Amana now we logically can go and experience for another justify the way higher God. Parallel or naturally higher, higher philosophers can also lay. But some philosophers, we give Immanuel Kant, even David Hume, we can also cross higher the way distinction can lay. Can they high? But yeah, there are some distinctions, but. Yes, they also complement each other. Then, a posteriori knowledge has the amount of them that we know from this day. Based on experience and inductive reasoning, inductive reasoning has the point among Sartre, the amount of them that the top of the top of inductive or in a quick up play. For example, because they have a concrete or put them up on the matum, the field of the whole matum, experience the whole matum, the abstract or put them up. Going from specific to general, since they have inductive reasoning, this is a kind of the prior uh, posteriori knowledge. Okay, so uh, with an example, when a pizza gave uh, five senses, logic, reflection, gain, understanding, high gravity, a hand with the five senses narrow, then a bit matunga experience there matunga wakal kaleva. Sigi, quicky theory, sigi matungi na quin high say, a hand with the five senses narrowly, experience pangani, then after that, logic and reflection lani, then only then. Quiggy understanding of a particular object, understanding of a particular concept. Like for example, see the example say amongst the book of uh, When we say humans tend to describe pain, pain is the name of the palm day, either physical. Uh, my part is uh, experience knowledge. So uh, from the name itself, uh, it is already known that uh, experience knowledge is a type of knowledge that we get through only through uh, experience. So. Uh, it is always tentative and cannot exist prior to experience. That means we have to uh, we have to get experience ourselves in order to get this experience knowledge. Uh, intentionally or unintentionally, we learn so many things in our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, this is uh, this is what we call experience knowledge. It allows us to better understand oneself and the surrounding world. That in order to get experience knowledge. Uh, we need to involve or expose to it and become the mastery of the event or the subject. Experience of best knowledge is tied to a certain context and it actually uh, takes a lot of time. And experience knowledge Maybe experience knowledge from the beginning of the day, after the day, after the day, I do this part of the day, but now that is so crazy, but I'm crazy and I'm just behind that. Experience knowledge from the beginning of the day, I do that. It includes a lot of perception, action, and feedback, and it is obvious that I do that. We just find the experience. We have the experience of the from the knowledge. I do that. Because I'm not the kind of person who can do that. Once we experience. Queen City, Hena, Queen of Kaudaba, Queen of Hana, Queen of a better memory retention, Hana, Play the Boss. All right, that's a good question. Well, as a country, the expression of the Hana, the expression of the entirety, the Milama, the Gimima, the Gimima, the easily. Share to where about transfer to where about the moment that we know it's like to be booked to the Eda Valera of a file in the Eda Tower in the Valera of the Sikumas is explicit to ever. So they should, they sit higher than the demands that explicit to bra opposite to ever. See, see, the Amana, me, mother, the Amada, the transfer to bar them, me, mother, express to what Sikumas, the Kitan Luna to ever, but they said no less there. I do what they said no less there, I say, uh, hand point, I think, no less that is difficult to express and transfer. Then, Mase. Non verbally communicate with me, but see, come on, I talk about the game. I'm not going to be for my moment of facial expression, my gesture, then my body language. See, who was in the country, never see the appointment of the moment of the experience, but I'm not going to be a member. 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 I'm not going to
sige example mo pibo matamda ko di ako na sige training ni lab ni matamda ako na kedo aha di ang ang malay ta oh ano tamda class ko ang ko macam mo matamda ko how to control ako kaman di mo but ako training to ka da matamda ko di matamda ako kaman di na class ko di ang ang kita kaya suppose to knowledge of how to do something that is the non focus then what At this post A, A not B, B is position. But this will be distinguished from uh, knowledge of acquaintance. When A actually obtains from B that uh, B is position. The best example would be the, uh, we may learn or read manual instruction how to use our program computer. But we may not actually have the skill or can program it But that is where non-proportional or procedural, procedural knowledge comes in. So this is the thing that we explain back this question. Procedural knowledge is very high value to this many based on practical knowledge. For other people, many procedural like a sequence of commands are not only not only not only not only not only not only not procedural knowledge is very high value to come here. See, the it involves knowing how to do something. Propositional knowledge is a certain fact to make it to the other people that I have to go to the other people that I have to go to the other people. Something I'm going to do now, then you know that the how to do have the specific question that you can do that or what I'm going to do now, non-propositional knowledge in that area. I think now it is contradictory to propositional knowledge. Now, I think propositional knowledge is a non-propositional knowledge. More in the contradictory way, because you know, I'm not just a certain phrase that you had it. How many letters are there in this alpha? By saying knowledge is information you get through human experience. What we have discussed today, I'm just going to read it out. Knowledge means what is and can be known by individual or by human being. To understand knowledge, I have we have talked about we have put up three questions. That is, uh, what are what what it consists of, what are its characteristics, and what are the types. See the common matam the the nature of knowledge. So we come on me. So knowledge, they are. In the first question is they are believed through justification. Knowledge consists of facts, principles, concepts, laws, and theories. Means knowledge are in Mazato, they can not have any. Other classification is a priori knowledge, posteriori knowledge, and explicit and tacit knowledge. Uh, when we talk about this one, uh, experience, problem uh, table. Posteriori, uh, posteriori ka knowledge, ka, experience. Ka. We are group 2 and the name of our topic is Functions of Philosophy to Various Components of Education. Let me introduce you my members. These are our group members. Having said this, I would like to take the advantage to inform that one of our team members, our group member, Priya, has been actively helping us in the presentation and also drafting and designing. But sadly or fortunately, I have to say, like the two sides of a coin, this will be our last presentation with her because she got a different feel. Now, I would like to say thank you for everything. At the same time, the introduction to our topic. What is education and what is philosophy and what are the components of education? These are the three key words that we have. When we say philosophy, it is an ideal, it is a theory, it is a formula. And when we say when we say education, it is the action work. So if a house isn't educated, actually when they are separated, the meaning is different. Philosophy is the word and education is the action. But when you combine philosophy of education, philosophy is the home. 
and education is the house. Do we get that? If a rose is an education, the color, the perfume, the scent, the, the texture becomes the philosophy. So philosophy is what adds meaning to education. Only action doesn't have a value. It should have meaning. So education and philosophy, that is how they complement one another. Having said that, I would like to uh, briefly recap. We all just philosophical ideas since this is education. We aim to learn what we can find about. I do not see philosophical ideas. We all learn. We just mount up right here. We don't give up. We just don't do the high kind. We society is a diverse nature. We believe that class is the high. We just don't get a minimum. We don't demand. We don't make a race class ethnicity. We don't demand. We don't. We just have difference. Difference of business. We don't make a Philosophical ideas may have a difference of the season in Africa and the level. Come on, not see the philosophical ideas may have a sin of education and seven million pounds. Pang, you know, have a concept. For example, in a way, the pragmatism has a good pragmatism, my man in the second half and the money to see my set principle. So, and it helps in adopting the suitable method of teaching. So there are different methods of teaching from where we can get the knowledge. There, number one is learning by doing, as given in the natural wisdom. So here is gaining direct experiences through observation or through our senses. Next is the lecture method as given by the idealism. It is generally a classroom center process. So next is experimental method. Experimental method is given by the pragmatism. So your learning takes place through practical life experiences. So here this educational philosophy helps to choose the suitable method of teaching, the appropriate method of teaching according to the nature, what type of subject it is and what type of environment the school is providing. So next is the teacher-student relationship. So teacher-student relationship is a very important part. So it is one of the most basic interpersonal relationship. So educational philosophy determines the teacher as well as the student role and as well as their quality in a very diverse society. So with the help of this philosophy, we get the knowledge about the role of the teacher, the role of the student, as well as their relationship with each other. So if the teacher student education, one is a discipline and another one is administration. Uh, or this language is already mentioned about the educational philosophy as a set of values and the beliefs. Uh, it magnifies the nature, aim, and the problems of education. And I will talk about discipline. And discipline reflects the philosophy of life. Idealism, pragmatism, and uh, naturalism it has been uh, explained by this. Uh, <laughs> Ms. Vasanti, <laughs> and uh, idealism advocates the strict discipline and self-control, whereas uh, naturalism emphasizes uh, the freedom and the natural discipline, and pragmatism stress a social discipline. Uh, the disciplines are known from the study of different educational uh, philosophies. The knowledge of uh, educational philosophy is essential to follow a desirable discipline. And administration also. The knowledge of what kind of administration we should adopt for an educational institute is determined by the educational philosophies. And I think this is the end of my part. <laughs> but they are replaced. Okay? Let's take it for example in the constructivism theory, the scaffolding. The philosopher says that suggests that it has the it has students link prior knowledge to new knowledge. Okay? And the next point, the process of replacement is not always in the case face with lots of opposition from certain orthodox. May I ask this type of? Yes. Type of. Okay, so that I have to say, that some of the people who are in the same way, I have to say, human resource development is not going to happen. Mr. Rita, 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 the human resource development of the world is the philosophy of the education system. The same thing is the beauty with purpose. The human resource development of the world is the same thing. The human resource development of the world is the same thing. The human resource development of the world is the same thing.
Adusik education of purpose that some points I know highlight or Tamzabani, Sirata Matamsida, number one, critical basic skills. Basic critical skills to develop while performing an uh, occupation. Hai tarifa. Occupation ama, Kosiki Matam the Sana with a Tauna and the Veta Makta. Basics ama the critical skill. Hai the occupation, Luka Sana with skills in the Tambal. Bukes never year ama for year apa. Adusik the lay. Aduna Matanda. Upon education, provide the Matam Sida. Masai individual amongi, Magi weakness and a strength of the young. Individualized by the only child uniqueness. Must give the lap, not to the autism lap, autistic lap, not to the magic of my own or Tarism and Yangura. In Taradana, I do my individualized way with them now. A home sumuda, a point of a saggy education there. Enjoyment young to Taradi, Kamana and Lang do no. I don't like Ningaro Balango. I don't enjoy men like the old never. I enjoy men hiding multi sensory, interactive with one multi sensory way about Maggie drama, and extra curricular activities happen in the Napa. I am told you don't have a name, and so it's a wrong to last her name. My own name. I took a next to number four. As I get one education, is it even for more people? It's all the modern time. As we all know, that society is not static, it is dynamic. It keeps on changing its values, traditions, customs, etc., from time to time. And because of that, social commentators have given many names at the present level of history. For some, it is the information age. For some, and for other, it is the both modernity and later modernity, or high modernity, and even the age of uncertainty. And uh, one more addition to the list at the present age for preparing the younger generation for challenges is the age of modernization. Modernizations as a phenomenon arrived in the economic scene in 1990 in India. And this has a great implications uh, in the current uh, function that philosophy serves towards education and it serves as a guiding principle towards the various components of education. And now you may be wondering why? Why, do, why are we studying the different school of thought in philosophy and how is it related to function? In fact, it has everything to do with the function. So, whenever we buy an electric appliance or any appliance of that sort, what do we do? We receive a you know, set of manuals. Now, what is that for? When we're using an appliance, we want to use it to its fullest and maximum potential. That is exactly what philosophy does in education. Right. And the first school of thought, I have given the pictorial representation of uh, the particular school of thought, which is perennialism. Now, perennialism means something which is everlasting, something which is unending. And it has stood the test of time. Therefore, we refer to the historians, the textbooks that have existed since times in the world. Students are made to learn how to read, how to analyze, and how to develop their intellectual capacity, their critical thinking. That is what Marianism serves towards the various functions of philosophy on education. So, uh, as we don't have much time, I won't take much time. I'll just like to conclude our presentation by saying this, that education and philosophy are two sides of the coin, which are incomplete without each other. Uh, philosophy is the ideological part of life. At the same time, education is the functional. Thank you. Like the 
like the uh, same phase of, uh, of the same coin, philosophy and education are interrelated and interdependent. Amana amada depends on many people. So first of all, I mean, philosophy has the dikaino have a matanda. Because I, I mean, philosophy the dikaino has a one of our colleagues has already um, mentioned about it. But philosophy, love of wisdom, have the dikaino have matanda. The ability to make sensible decisions. And I mean, kamaina have the dikaino have a matanda. I mean, the way of sharing our point of view. Me amaga amaga the perspective believes. I philosophical perspective each and everyone has different philosophical perspective and teaching point of view that for example in Heiser Akomatanda, Kaina Hava Mutanda Kwina, Ama Amasinari Tak Nabakwana first of all, I mean a kaida karta. Lesson plan I'm a same than you. Same when you call. Lesson plan is the same when you can talk with the Yawada or Bamata Karikari, a coin of Roy Makhana Tidokari, and then how far among things in a Kamina understand the Wada Gay Hyber, how for how I could talk about the fruitful way of Kata Gay Hyber in Munda. So a Kamina could a Tanda given a Kali by Queen Ayala in the beliefs in Rosa than a philosophy. And then, as you know, applied to a fruitful way of education. Philosophy yau the baya de education je apun apply to rabo fruitful way lag na bagi the bata. So philosophy point out the ways and education follow it. Philosophy na apun chat kadu belambi je ways. Man ta kadu niye tu ka education na follow to kadu ni grabs to kadu niye bata. Adu na apun na life apun na anga anga mai class amada chawa ka apun na lesson na bata okay have amada tamda. Masi je aina kaya to prepare to rabo rabo. Other than that, if it is blind effort, I have to say that there is a blind effort. Have you ever heard of it? Just like, Kaitaka. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Kaitaka Kaitaka. I am Kaitaka Kaitaka. I am Kaitaka Kaitaka. Philosophy is dependent on education. Philosophy is dependent on education in the sense that philosophy follows education. Philosophy is the education that depends on education. Because I don't know how to give reason for it. Hai di reason sih kayak kayak hai di education as the base, education as transmitter and propagator, education is the form of giver, education is the dynamic side. Hai di philosopher, philosopher macam like Thales, Aristotle, not just without. Education is unthinkable without philosophy. Philosophy uh, basically provides a foundation of uh, techniques for imparting knowledge, skill, and attitude. Philosophy is a theory. Philosophy is a theory, and education is a practical in nature. That means philosophy, uh, that uh, theory, it can exist in itself, but education, that is uh, practical, cannot exist in itself. It always uh, depends on philosophy. All right, and then. Uh, philosophy enjoy an independent coherence while uh, education is subordinate to the philosophy. From philosophy, educa education gets logic, rational sequence, system, a force, and a discipline. The secondary branches of philosophy. Philosophy is a branch of who learn, who learn how to learn. Like you have a lot of metaphysics and epistemology and sociology. So education is a combination of many things. But no, I have a lot of metaphysics that we can handle. So like. Metaphysics are not only the only thing. Reality, existence. It is concerned with the theory of being deal with nature of ultimate reality and purpose of existence. How do you know? At the same time, M and M metaphysics and M of education. M is the highest level. M of education. Marie, come on, let me know. No, I have a card. I go in a school of mine. Can't buy. Let's say in a high school, can't be private school. Can't buy. Let's say in a college, but only M and U. Let's say in a M of education. You know, let's say my development, the spiritual, emotional, physical. See, puna, I'll say, let me know. Bula bula kanda, lihat betul itu nasi filosofi sih, kita mesti ambil sikit lagi sih. Emsok education ni, sih boleh lagi nak tanya lah. And then epistemology, hai tarjadi, the word epistemology derived from the Greek word epis, film hai tarjadi, knowledge hai tarjadi lah. And then logi hai tarjadi, science hai tarjadi lah. Sehingga kalau hari tu kanda, macam apa sih sehingga boleh lagi nak tanya lah. Aku ini nak, asalnya knowledge ni deliver tau juga lah. Aku ini ngan dia proses hati, sih nak lakshan betul, ini pilih dia deliver sih education ni lah. Sih macam aku ini nak lakshan betul, macam sih knowledge sih dari filosofi sih nak. Hagalah tu ini lah. 
and then last, absolutely incompatible. Ini perfect with reality. Adakah filosofi and emo education, like that. Filosofi ke education, emo education ke filosofi ke kemain education, the impact ini. Emo education ke kemain impact ini yang harusnya. For example, kok answer education system ni yang siapa? Siapa anda di kemain tu yang harus anda? Kali future student saya yang na develop based on, future based on bah, the spiritual, moral values, the religious beliefs, the both the standard way dan the religious way bah, angam tu cuma boleh mana bah. Sikit biasa sih dari religious teaching saya amat jauh ya. Sih dari tanggung jawab, sih dari religious teaching saya amat jauh. Kamu nak lakukan apa? Kamu lakukan mengenalkan angam religious, religious way bah, minyak boleh mana boleh mana ya. Sih dari emo education saya lagi ya. Dan medical period tu lakukan, dan Google period lain. Google period lakukan sih dah Islamic culture sih tanggung jawab ya. Dan tu kita masih Islamic culture sih lagi ya. Jadi angam tu dah school dah high dari dia. Jadi institution saya amat jauh. Jadi Islamic culture sih Islam juga culture saya amat jauh. Half the half the lagi kan education, education the macam kita fly tu orang kan the Islam culture dia kan dapat jadi orang itu betul. That's apa ni? This is thirty period lah. Kalau nak buat English language, like English education tu juga. Ada di changing world tu the English medium ni saya dengan ini baru way. Karena terutama dalam bela ini, ini ada nak English education tu macam ni. So mana yang mau education tu dah filosof, yang mau education tu dah filosof tu dah impact tu juga. Then Ani cuba dengar filosofi and curriculum. Di sekolah filosofi tu lagi, contohnya for example, idealism lagi dan pragmatisme tu lah. Idealism tu lagi dengar bagi role model seperti apa pun daripada tu lah. Aha, bagi point saya, kalau yang hasil filosofi and textbook. Filosofi related or filosofi and education, how related have the topics in your book? So this is education, the whole textbook have the important or without textbook, I think the education, I'm not institute, I'm not run to have the impossible never. But textbook have the philosophy, I'm not going to have the philosophy, but without philosophy, textbook have the philosophy, I'm not going to institute, I'm not going to have the curriculum, I'm not going to have the set through a proper, proper selection of textbook. And a philosophy is needed to determine uh, the quality and content of textbook. A good textbook must reflect prevalent values of life expectations. Philosophy. Philosophy I target is the study of fundamental natures of knowledge, reality, and existence, especially when considered as an academic discipline. A good target is philosophies and teachers. The philosophy is not teachers some or a format of the young important so but young the young number thing and the okay the nature of knowledge has been a central concern in philosophy from the earliest time however philosophy has a mighty uh, word see meaning the don't follow and sophia has the philosophy is the idea has the sophia is the wisdom high 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 Hal lagi yang earliest time lagi sahun naga dunia apa pun ni buka. Lagi di the branch of philosophy concerned with knowledge is known as epistemology or theory of knowledge. Hal itu pun ni kemal dah. Lagi epistemology comes from Greek words that is episteme meaning knowledge and logos meaning discourse or science. Atuk it concerns with the nature and justifications of human knowledge. Lagi epistemology has a uh, it is a philosophical inquiry which investigates the origin. My whole form of the mind of the have a knowledge, the methods, validity, and limits of knowledge. So, is it? So, give me some of this. The concern of my mother is not the definition of knowledge. Like, definition of knowledge. Why did you have the leader? But earliest time, the kids leave. Yam the why did you always wear the definition? I have the platform of the world. Justified true value, though well adjusted true value is more complete definition. Plato the theorem of the mind is justified true value. For example, when a example of a people the when the when knowledge is common, I mean, acquired to me, I have the external stimuli, the external stimuli, the I have the sense or the sense, I have the. So when you process or when you come to know the thing, no sight. Smell, taste, touch, hearing, what? See, my answer is that you have senses of brain and brain. Brain and brain are organized and interpreted and perceived.
high but when you marol the high but I can't hang go. But when marol the high but madam da they will understand it. Hang the neighbor. See knowledge construct the oh money pre loan they chat lam me have this high high go. They will construct the knowledge. And the knowledge say that the command is transmit on through many ways such as body language or BI, sign or BI, written transcripts or BI, and verbally spoken or BI. Then words expressed through language and meaning influence how we will be moving with this topic authority. And the Akhina knowledge, some of the knowing process, the command is that I dialogue with the model authority, high authority, command of the video, a hand with the Akhina. Example lah mana, orang yang hire kita, apa yang sama event dari sini deh, dari sini deh kemana lah, kemana hire kita lah. Kalau nak hire kita kemana, mula speak ada dia se, mungkin expert ni am ada lagi, mungkin ada publication tu dah tak ada, cerita cerita tu ada research tu ada macam tu, dari sini deh aku mahu kerja apa. Jadi dia apa yang aduh lagi faham ni macam apa yang apa yang dia ada authority, authority tip knowledge, apa yang faham ni apa, tu dah. Amal mana tu kaya org, dia 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 proof. Evidence or conscious reasoning. In Chishin, they are going to be able to do this. For example, if we explain to them the reason to be able to do this, the reason to be able to do this, the explanation to be able to do this, I knew it, I knew this would happen in the high school. So, if we get like, if we get to the future, 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 it's through our intuition feeling. Uh, intuition say it's uh, it's a digested knowledge because of something that has been in our system for uh, that has been in our system something we understand so well that we don't need to think fast in any further it just flashes across immediately for example an experienced doctor and uh, experienced doctor uh, patient about Hey, you know, I'm not saying she, she, not, she, she has the mana, high bunga meva, more than an inexperienced doctor. Process of knowledge. A memory is the ability to retain information or experience gained in the past. We do not gain knowledge in a vacuum. Our past experience affect our process of knowing. Uh, employing concept from the memory allows us to build uh, knowledge. Uh, for example, when learning to read, uh, one is compelled to rely on letters. Uh, here, uh, first we, we learn the letters. After that, uh, uh, we can grasp the formation of words or even phrases and understand the meaning. Nisha Amadda, na tawa kosa Amadda, ako na complete verse Amadda, kada rosa Amadda, tu boy ko na pair hat ko na kani. Ado, pati ako na pati mo tama, maje religious ko na religion ko na niya rasa kani ha, kaya ako na si de lekong kote ko. Pati maje isang sam na ha, kaya ako si trust ko ato kani ba. Ado ni, ako si pair hat ko sa tida ako si evidence like tawa, ado si bilis ko katang ko ba niya, ako si Tapi umpama posa ama boleh punya source of knowledge. Oh, ikan sekarang tanda high kita dia have punya. Bagi punya sahaja definition that is knowledge. Sih justified true belief ni have. Aduh, lo boleh kan dapat punya macam source of knowledge. Oh, ikan itu dia. Aduh, faham sahaja punya sahaja punya high kita. Madi evidence lagi tak bawa punya proof lagi tak posa ama oh, jadi kan madi punya source of knowledge. Oh, ikan itu punya jawab ni dia. Aduh, mungkin kerana macam kita high kita have tanda punya faham sahaja punya high kita posa. Sih dia reliable punya bawa punya source of knowledge ni high lower. Kami buat apa ni? Fakta apa ni lagi? Jadi apa ni? Kami ni buat apa tu? Jadi tu, kami pun ngamui jadi. Apa ni? For example, lah ini. Apa ni? Saya na, apa ni? Like tak? Kami tak ada. Saya itu mana kaya buat tak? Ia buat apa ni? Kaza buat apa? Jadi apa ni? Kita kami ngamui jadi. Jadi mana? Jadi sila pada apa ni? Fakta apa ni? Saya itu kaza buat apa? Kami ada apa ni? 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 memory and fed and uh, in place of imagination we can use authority also they are the gateways of knowledge they are interrelated interconnected and they cannot be isolated because one aspect of knowing cannot produce a complete knowledge for example let's say i know many languages but if i don't know how to use my senses and uh, my memory or my lo logic and system, then what kind of knowledge are we producing Obviously, I cannot produce a valid knowledge. That's why we have to use the above eight knowledge to gain to attain knowledge. Thank you. And our topic is education as process, education as purpose, education as system, and education as protection. Um, before going to 
by the way, uh, I just want to uh, explain something about the situation. But I know that in this classroom, every one of us are well acquainted with what education is and the various definitions of education. So I'm, going to, I'm not going to go deep into it, but um, just a quick glance of it. Education in its simplest terms, uh, it, is a, it is a process of facilitating uh, knowledge or acquisition of knowledge, um, uh, values, skills, habits, beliefs, and so on. So it is one of the most important process which bears very strong influence on the process of personality development. And uh, this education may be purposive, psychological, uh, conscious or unconscious, uh, which aims at bringing out the best in an individual as well as a society and in such a way that both this individual and society enjoy maximum happiness and prosperity. So we'll see what this is. Uh, we know that it's a micro process. And education itself is going to be the process. So education as a process means different activities of education for the accomplishment of different goals. Then in the high level case, when uh, talking about education, people often confuse it with schooling. So uh, they think of places like schools or colleges. So the problem is that uh, while looking for others to help, learn, others to help to learn, the way uh, schools or colleges, schools and teachers operate is not necessarily something we can uh, hold education. I mean, that education is beyond that, something beyond that. Only formal education may be a means to our have a successful career, but education is more than that. It has a lot of purposive activities, and here are some of the least of the purpose of education. First is enlightenment. That is the state of being enlightened or understanding the value of learning. Uh, enlightenment, education gives enlightenment, and as such, it helps us to develop critical thinking, and as such, we often think before we act. Next, we have uh, knowledge development. We all know that uh, education involves knowledge. Yeah, and it also widen knowledge in many things that surround us and also around the world. It also impart knowledge, uh, both worldly as well as spiritual knowledge. Next, we have environment. Uh, education teaches us about the importance of environment. We can it makes us aware or create awareness of how to take care. Of. We can see that education is a purposive activity. Why? It is a purposive activity because education broadens human choice, human outlook, perspectives and perspective as well. And also not only broaden the outlook and perspective, not only the choices, even education contribute to attainment of our goal, individual goal. And again, let's compare the purpose of ancient education and modern purpose of education. Here we can see purpose of ancient education, it focused on a very special field specific field such as important ethics like humility, truthfulness, discipline, self-reliance and respecting all creation of students. There are only very special areas but comparing to this ancient purpose of education when we see modern purpose of education then my friends from number four had already mentioned some of the point today i will be mentioning some widely accepted purpose of education the first one is to develop intellect how does education develop intellect education develop intellect in such a way that when a person become educated their mental capabilities their intellectual capabilities develop are progressing right and the next is to serve social needs education serves as a purpose of serving social needs in what way according to john Mewey, he says that education and society they are very close associated they are very interrelated they cannot be separated why because through education we can learn life skill as well social skill norms can you mention some of them through education what type of skill do we learn in this topic uh, education system is anything that is uh, essential that goes into educating uh, students on a public level so education system
system is divided into two major parts. The first is the administration and the second is the management. So both this administration and management are important in order for an education system to run smoothly. So if we look at the factors, there are five factors from administration as well as five factors from management. The first is the policy making of, by the administrator. The second is uh, alertness in making the curriculum unique and accurate. And the third is the systematic monitoring. The fourth is the quality faculty, appointment of quality faculty and systematic review by the end of each academic year. So these are the five points that the administrator have to keep in mind in order for education has been very advanced and uh, since we have a uh, our time of some few minutes, we are going to do into uh, the education system like and CN Medieval and Modern and how the education system has been improved from time to time. During the during the consent systems, there is Gurukul system. Anyone who wants to learn or anyone who wants to know gain knowledge goes to the guru, there is the teachers and it goes to be taught at their home or whatever place the teachers like. Likewise the Buddhist also has the monasteries that the students go to the monasteries and learn the Buddhist, the Buddhist systems of education. And the, the second is medieval period. During the medieval period it is very important that the former education has been started very nicely. Like the elementary education and the secondary education. What we education as profession refers to the uh, to whether teaching should be considered as profession because a profession is a discipline a group of individuals who abide to ethical standards and also a professional group possesses knowledge and skills that have been derived from uh, re uh, research, education, training at a higher level. There are certain criteria uh, that are used to define a profession and the teaching as a profession should fulfill the following criteria. I'll be taking up three. The first is organized body of knowledge. The educators are equipped with knowledge and skills uh, which are derived from research, education and training uh, from around the world and its cultures and teaching methodologies that have been developed through continuous research. The second is it serves a great social purpose. Teachers in general are seen as moral exemplars and role model of the society. So one of the important aspects of uh, the status of this profession is that educators should abide by the standard of both personal and professional conduct. Uh, we all know that action speaks louder than words. So it is important and also it, it will be more efficient if the educator pass on can be granted. And uh, professionals are, uh, are also supposed to uh, have continuous development of their ability to uh, render their service. Point number five, degree of... Uh, good afternoon to all my classmates. I feel so happy that I am the last presenter after such a long session that we had today. I think I'm going to see... Uh, I'll just conclude. It's going to be just 59 seconds. Mark that. <laughs> so we have, uh, we have not... Um, a lot about this education, education, even I'm saying, I'm tired of it. We have had a lot of presentation, not only just in the CDC, and then we have this presentation, we have heard a lot about education. Scholars, we have philosophers, we have a lot of ideas about education. We have a lot of ideas about education. We have a lot of It's just a purposeful activity of the name directed at achieving certain aims. And so it can be individual or social, but it is not a lot of education has a sequel, but full of the activity in the way that that should direct at achieving a certain aim. I think after 18 members, we have now discussed about education as a system, 
uh, yeah, as a process winner, an impervious winner, system winner, profession winner, country winner. So, to conclude that, education has a set. Process, you all know that it's a dynamic process work that starts from room of the mother and continues till that work. See, active with the dynamic of the process of me and often to take place continuously during one's life by the way of various experiences. So I am coming through non-formal, formal, informal ways and manner by Yamaki. It has a purpose. So to mention the